Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are doing this from Medium Robbins and the topic today will be transposition of great arteries and we are discussing heart pathology and uh, hum left to right churn, right to left churn ye karte hai aare hai. So today uh, one of the right to left shunt pathology, it's a congenital defect, is known as transposition. And the idea is very simple. You see, when we say transposition, it's a simple matlab ye hai asan zaban mein ulat pulat. Ulat pulat ka matlab kya hua? Ulat pulat ka matlab ye hua boss ke aapka jo right side of the heart hai. This is the right side and this is the left side in this diagram. So, uh, right atrium, say blood obviously enter hota hai into the right ventricle and this is all the venous blood. So, this is deoxygenated blood which enters into the right side and normally what happens ke it enters after the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery aise hi na bhai pulmonary artery phir usko kahan lekar ke jati hai lungs mein and uh, lungs se ye blood oxygenate hoke wapas aata hai into the left ventricle and from the left ventricle uh, left atrium first and then into the left ventricle and from the left ventricle it goes to the aorta to be distributed to the whole body yahi cycle hai ab sune transposition mein kya hoga and then that's the end of the story you understand the whole topic very easily so aorta niklegi from the right ventricle now that is absolutely abnormal because uh, aorta right ventricle se nahi nikalti right ventricle se nikalta pulmonary artery ab ye ulta hi ho gaya right ventricle se aorta nikal rahi hai aur left ventricle se kya cheez nikalna shuru ho jati hai pulmonary artery sara khich pich ho gaya so you know uh, the whole is now the right ventricle becomes hypertrophied it becomes hypertrophied because it is uh, now pumping to a very uh, you know big arterial system and left uh, ventricle actually goes hypoplastic because it is now pumping blood to a very low pressure system which is the lungs so usually left ventricle lungs mein blood nahi bhejta usually right ventricle lungs mein blood bhejta but here this is just transposition this is what we mean by transposition uh, it basically is the disconcordant connection of ventricles to their vascular flow yani usually right ventricle is connected with the pulmonary artery and the left ventricle is connected with the aorta so if this is simply reversed uh, and uh, the condition is known as transposition and obviously it uh, happens at the level of embryologic problems and uh, the embryological defect is basically the abnormal formation of truncal and aortopulmonary septa so ye septa aur inki rotation disturb hai jiski wajah se ventricle ko uska right blood vessel nahi mila and then uh, another important point ki atria to ventricle connection is fine so right atrium is still feeding blood into the right ventricle left atrium is still feeding blood to the left ventricle but the ventricles are connected to the wrong vessels and let me tell you in almost uh, i would say in most of the circumstances this type of uh, congenital defect is incompatible with life so these babies actually don't survive and they die in the very initial months unless you undertake a very extensive surgery and try to repair the defect or up connect kare surgery karke pulmonary trunk ko uh, with the right ventricle and aorta ko with the left ventricle so if you are able to do this fine but most of the cases may babies die okay the functional outcome is the separation of systemic and the pulmonary circulations and you know this is all ulat pulat now acha is case mein ventricular septal defect will actually help because now if you have a hole here we want some mixing of the blood we want some mixing of the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood so that may actually be a helpful uh, congenital anomaly in these particular patients okay so a condition this is incompatible with life unless there is a shunt available sometimes shunt is very important indeed vsd occur in one third of the cases um, this is marked there is marked right ventricular hypertrophy for the reasons i just told you because now the right ventricle is pumping into aorta which is like a high pressure system and the left ventricle goes hypoplastic because it is now pumping to the lungs which is a low pressure system so some newborns with transposition of great arteries have a patent for a men ovale that allows that again or pda so these also allow shunting uh, from left to the right side so that may be helpful for the baby but actually they close and this is not uh, uh, always present so it's only in a small percentage maybe a third of the patients may vsd hota hai and some of the patients have pd and uh, which is pda patent ductus arteriosus and foramen ovale so left to right shunts in these in this particular condition they are actually life saving 
but they are present in only a few patients so overall the disease is uh, uh, you know uh, it's very very fatal it's very very fatal uh, many of the babies die actually in the very first few months so the dominant manifestation is cyanosis with prognosis depending on the magnitude of shunting uh, obviously kisi bhi congenital anomaly mein uski severity bahut important hai agar uh, severe uh, tetralogy of fallot ke features hain cyanosis early develop hoga things like that now without surgery most patients with uncorrected transposition of great vessels they die within the first few months however improved surgical techniques now permit definitive repair and these patients survive to adulthood but again depending upon what are the expertise available and in which part of the world you are talking about um, overall still transposition of great vessel is mostly incompatible with life okay so that's all about transposition of great vessels we'll talk about obstructive lesions next in the next video